Well, good morning. It's uh, 5.42 a.m. Sunrise is at 6.30 something a.m. Today I was gonna ask you this question. I was interested to know, do you know what FOMO is? FOMO stands for fear of missing out. And so I thought it'd be interesting to talk about photography gear FOMO. A lot of people fear they're gonna miss out on a great shot because they don't have the latest photography gear. Now there's more to photography than the gear you use. Photography is more, more about the fundamentals of things like lighting and composition and getting the movement and the emotion and all of those things, being able to tell a story with your picture. Today, I thought what would be a good thing to do is I'm gonna walk you through some of my setup and so I can show you how I get my images to come to life. Today is going to be a tough one, and I knew this last night. And this is probably the first aspect of photography: is planning. You know, I looked at what the weather was doing last night, and I know the sky is pretty cloudless, right? I've come down to Sydney Harbour because I've got this shot in my mind that I want to capture. And I've wanted to capture for a while. So what I was thinking about was capturing a shot with the sun rising and sort of hitting the Harbour Bridge. Now the Harbour Bridge has got these beautiful sandstone pylons and you know with the the morning light it's going to look fantastic and i thought what i would try and do is get a bit of a panoramic image last night i looked at the weather i knew the sky was going to be clear so normally when i shoot sunrise i like to shoot into the sun and the reason i do that is because as the sun rises the color bounces off of the sky uh, especially if there's clouds in the sky well this morning knowing there's no clouds in the sky I've got to get a little bit more creative about where I go and shoot. I'm going to shoot away from the sun. I use this app called the Photographer's Empress on my phone and it tells me exactly where the sun's coming up. Now being winter or towards the end of winter, uh, the sun will rise rapidly so we won't have a lot of time and the light will become very harsh very quickly. As the sun comes up and it hits the sides of all the buildings and the Harbour Bridge, I'm going to be capturing that light. I'm here about an hour before sunrise and this, the light is starting to change already. So it's really important that, you know, when you're getting up for sunrise, photography is hard as it is. And I got up at 4.30 this morning. Uh, it's cold, uh, you know, but it's the only way to get the best shots. But I'll walk you through my thinking with this composition. I've set my tripod up here. I haven't got my camera on it yet. There's my composition. So you can see the opera house to the left there, all the way around. And there's the Harbour Ridge. And I'm going to try and take a pano. And you'll see what I've done is I've sort of composed with that stone, uh, I guess, staircase there. That beautiful looking shrub. And then you can see the fence sort of goes around there and there's a, a, a chair over there. I don't think I'll get that in my shot. So let's get the camera on here. I'm going to use my Nikon D810 with a tilt shift lens on to take my pano. I'm going to try that. So let's get that on. I've got the Nikon D810 set up. I've got my 45 millimeter tilt shift on there, which sounds like a strange lens, but I'm gonna show you why I'm using this for a panoramic photo. And that's the tilt shift lens in the middle. And what I do is if I move the lens to the left, you see I get the opera house. I then will take that, I'll take that photo. I'll then move it to the middle and I'll take that photo. And then I'll move it all the way to the right and I'll take that photo. And what I'll end up with is a nice panoramic image that looks something like that. And what happens with the tilt shift is as you tilt left and right, you lose some light. So the idea is to try and get your settings set up manually. So I'm going to go for something like F9, which is a nice sweet spot for this lens. And then I'm just going to take a test shot. So I'll do that now. I've got a, a remote in my hand here. That's my little remote. And it's a wireless one, so I'm just going to take an image now and we'll just see what happens and looking at that you'll see I've got some blinkies so my flashing highlights that means that I've got some areas that are overexposed I'm gonna go to 10 seconds let's take another test shot just look at that eh? what a beautiful spot the birds are singing they're having a good old morning the Sun see the colors starting to come up over there I don't know how well that shows up in the video still got some flashing highlights so I'm gonna have to bring it back to something a bit faster. So I'm going to go with six seconds at f9. I'm at ISO 64. All right, so just trying this new setting. We've got six seconds f9, ISO 64. Let's see what happens. And we're really starting to see some nice light starting to hit things now. Still a little bit 
um, that's overexposed so I'm just going to bring it up to f11 at six seconds and the reason this is happening to me is because the light is really starting to increase that's pretty good I reckon I can drop that even further I'm gonna go to, f to four seconds and once I get the right that's gonna be the right exposure now okay so now what I need to do pretty quickly because the lights coming up is I'm gonna go I'm gonna do one shot to the left here so I've moved the tilt shift across to the left to get the Opera House in take that shot okay and you got to do this pretty quick because the lights moving so I've just moved my lens into the middle and take that shot and then I move the lens across to the right and you'll see that that's the final part of the composition I'll take that shot and what I end up with now if we go through the three shots you can see that was the first shot the second shot and the third shot and I'll be able to stitch those all together in Lightroom or Photoshop and have a really nice image. Now I've got the photo taken, I'll just talk you through my composition and why I've done what I've done. Um, I always like foreground in my shot because foreground brings three dimensions it makes it three dimensional brings depth and perspective to the image if you just I could stand down I don't know if you can see down there but down there is a um, is a wharf that I could stand on and I could get that whole picture from down there but it would be two dimensional rather than this nice three dimensional view I want the three dimensions what I thought I'd do is just quickly show you my setup so you can get an idea of of how this whole tilt shift mechanism works and why it works so well for panoramic photography so this is a a 45 millimeter tilt shift and you see it's got these weird dials on the side if I show you that one on the top there as I rotate that you see the lens moves backwards and forwards so when I was going left and getting that first image then I was going center for the center image and then to the right for the for the right image because I'm not rotating the camera body at all there's no distortion there's no what they call parallax error because it's not rotating around anything now I do have a panoramic slider for this particular tripod at home uh, but I really like using this I find it uh, super easy it does the job really really well it's not about having the greatest gear it's really about thinking about your composition thinking about the light thinking about the you know the leading lines the foreground is the shot interesting is there a motion um, you know if there's movement like water movement or uh, maybe there's a waterfall or people you know can you blur something can you bring that movement into your shot somehow all of those things are really really important when you're thinking about composition and so if you want to bring your images to life you want, you want to think about the composition more so than anything else it's easy just to point the camera at something and take a photo but it doesn't mean you're going to get the best shot and I think that's that's the lesson that I think I want to give you today is that if you want to get the best shot you need to put a bit of thought into it you need to plan it a little bit and you need to stop worrying about whether or not you're going to miss out because you don't have the best gear in fact save your money just use whatever gear you got and spend that money on some uh, some airline tickets somewhere so you can go somewhere amazing and take some photos <laughs>